Hello there. I'm trying to show off this mask, this SM90. This is where the size stamp is. Trying to fiddle around with the camera. Sorry about that. So this is a zero, meaning medium. And minus means small and the plus means large. This is the mask overall. Intake and out there in the how do you call it? Uh, speech membrane. And looks like the PF90. Okay, this is the drinking tube. Sufficiently large, uh, not large, long. And so this is where you adjust it inside the mask. It goes a, a lot, you have a lot of adjustment. Let me show you from the inside. As you can see, it's very nice adjustment. The drinking tube is closed until you bite it. Wait a second. Like this. So it's sealed until you bite it a bite on it. Now the mask is without its nose cap inside so you can show uh, so you can show its details better. Quickly to do the buckles. Okay, this is the inside of the mask. Let me adjust the drinking tube. Okay. This is how it looks. Pretty basic. This is the XL valve. It has a lip around it so that the, the, the inner mask stays on. This. This is the intake where the air comes. And this is obviously the speech membrane with the drinking tube. There's a single marking of the mask right here behind the uh, between the eye lenses. I don't think it's a date stamp. It might just be a size stamp. So in the case this one somehow gets rubbed away or scratched away you can know by this one what uh, which size is the mask or actually mine might be made in the 2000s because it has those two dots right there now the buckle system it's rather over complicated as usual how the Germans like it. This is how you fold back the drinking tube around the mask, like the M10M. Let me fiddle around with the camera for a second. Now, here on the this part of the mask, Huber and Sonar with the serial number, buckle system, Metal buckle like the like the American design, <laughs> but this is the buckle system, crimped on the rubber tab. This goes around like this, almost like the FM12 style, but it's crimped. The two crimps go on, uh, crimp the rubber. And we stay, uh, it's gonna stay in like uh, that in these two tabs made of rubber again. Here you can see, you might easily get the buckle off. Uh, I'm not gonna try it on camera. The two bottom, uh, bottom ones do not have a locking, you can adjust it freely. Temple ones and the top ones have a locking mechanism made of metal as usual. 
stupid design to this push it hard and it will lock dumb design over complicated now the fun uh, fun part begins the top straps have two buckles the one that's on the mask itself it's fixed cannot adjust and this is the second buckle that it's adjusted right here as you can see it's kind of a over complicated mess at least it's comfortable this is made of i think it's leather locking tab obviously made of metal stupid design now the over complicated nose cap design which is this this is how it looks how it looks from the top air comes through this uh, canal goes around this flap like this and goes inside the uh, nose cap through these two holes a bit over a bit it's over complicated it, it could have done just a simple uh, hole right here like the fm12 and s10 masks design part that goes on the voice membrane assembly and this part goes on the intake here comes through this and splits and goes like this around the nose cap and gets inside the two holes here this part goes on the XL this is the how it looks from different angles I do not know what are these two holes for or this shape probably to aid in uh, the uh, easier breathing Well, this is pretty much is the pretty much each uh, this is pretty much the mask yeah I'm a bit terrible at making videos but I'll try to do better try to present Romanian stuff and other masks in my collections my collection